what's up guys i'm gonna try to make this short um as far as what i need to do because i tend to talk a lot but anyway welcome to today's vlog um i'm gonna kind of introduce what i'm gonna be doing today um and getting the car prepared for the roll cage that should be happening within the next two weeks um according to my uh fab guy that's gonna be doing the work um anyway the plan for today is to get the car as prepped as possible for the roll cage so that when he installs it, it's uh, basically going to be built around where I need it. Um, there's a few things that I need to do before I can get the car over to him. Um, I made a small list here that I can keep an eye on. And that includes doing pour 15 under the front subframe. I mean, not the subframe, the frame rails on the uh, engine bay. Because of the uh, all of the oils and fluids and stuff, the paint underneath there is pretty, is pretty bad. So I want to put some pour 15 on there to protect it. Uh, I need to reinstall the front subframe. I need to tighten down all the front and rear subframe hardware because it's all pretty loose. Uh, I need to install the steering column, install uh, my steering, uh, my, my wheel hub, and install my seat, and then drill out the speaker housings um, that are in the RX-7. So the RX-7 has these, speak, these, these round speaker housings that uh, you put your speakers in, and they sit in there, and that's basically what they look like. Um, and a lot of people that make their cages, they run them down and have them welded either to the side there or to the opposite side or some people do them over here on the floor so I don't, I'm not sure what exactly what we're doing but I want to get rid of them anyway I'm not going to be putting speakers in the rear so those are going to come out um, need to install the seat this is a Recario SPG if you're wondering what kind of seat it is I bought it used uh, this is my uh, Nardi steering wheel my, deep, my Nardi dip dish, deep dish with a work bell hub, uh, hub. And I bought a new uh, hub adapter for the RX-7. So this will allow me to attach this to the RX-7. This came out of my RX, I'm sorry, not my RX-7. This came out of my FRS when I had that previously, a couple years back. Um, and then what else do I have? I have uh, this, this Bride Japan uh, seat slider. So this is an adjustable seat slider so that I can actually move the seat forward and back in the RX-7 with the bucket. I just realized that I did forget the uh, the brackets that attach the rails to the seats that go to the side. I forgot those at home. I have a set of Recario ones. So I'll have to go home and, and uh, well, I probably won't go home, but when I come Sunday, I'll bring those in and I can finish installing the seat. Um, but for now, I can at least do the brackets. Um, I want to get the engine bay done. I really do, but I'm going to wait off on that only because I originally was going to um, put sealant on all of the on, on, on all of the seam, seams here like this. I was gonna put a 3M sealant. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go with go with a wire brush and the drill and every so like few inches I'm gonna clear off some of the uh, paint. I'm just gonna clean it up and then spot weld. So I'm basically gonna spot weld everything that has a seam. So I don't have to really take it all off. Just the spots where I'm gonna spot weld. So. It should be a pretty easy, straightforward process. Once I spot weld it, then I can go back through and then reprimer it. And then once that's done, we can get working on getting the engine bay painted. Uh, I have to put another layer of the 2 in 1 primer because there's a lot of spots that I miss. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I still need to figure out the V mount setup. Um, so again, before the engine bay gets painted, there's quite a bit of work that has to get done first. So yeah, so that's basically the plan for today. So not much to it, let's get to work. I'm feeling pretty energetic right now. Uh, so let's see what I can get done. Hopefully we can get that whole list knocked out and uh, keep moving on forward. All right, so what I ended up doing is I ended up buying a small little kit for uh, 415. I didn't want to buy a big kit since I'm not really using too much of this. It's just really for a couple of spots. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to clean up the metal that you're going to apply it to uh, with like a sandpaper or um, scotch brite pad, something like that. You want to get off as much loose de debris as possible. Um, then once you do that, get it all cleaned up. I'm going to give it a, a you, know, you can use this little brush here, it doesn't matter. You can use this and apply some of this cleaning degreaser on there, on that metal to uh, basically help degrease the metal. You're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you're gonna rinse it off of water, uh, let it dry off, and then you're gonna apply the metal prep. And the same thing, another 15 minutes, water it off, let it dry off. Once that's done, 
then you actually apply the actual paint. Uh, once the paint's done, that's it. You just let it sit. You know, they say depending on the day, let it sit for about five hours, and it should pretty much dry up. Um, it may be a little bit tacky. Um, it just kind of depends on the weather and the, the temperature that's where you're at, the humidity and all that stuff. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's a really easy process to do. Uh, this will help prevent any rust corrosion uh, in the future. Like I said, the frame rolls aren't rusted or anything, but the paint itself was coming off. So I, yeah, I could have primed it, but I, I'm just going to go with this because I have it already. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then uh, the next step, we'll see what's next after that. So now the plan is to take these little uh, spot water cutters and get these at Harbor Freight for like three bucks. Just so drill and drill out these spot welds all around the uh, speaker housings. Once I get rid of those, uh, it'll just look cleaner. That's really the only reason I'm doing it. I'm not gonna put speakers in here. Uh, the um, the roll cage. Depends. Some people uh, run them to the inside here. Some do them here. Some do them down here. They'll put a plate. But uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do just yet um, as far as that goes. But uh, I'm, I'm going to take them off either way. So I'm going to do that now. And uh, we'll check that out real quick.
so I did the left side that's the right side that I still need to do but as you can see the whole speaker unit is out um, the tool worked pretty well then I went back with the uh, grinder wheel and uh, cleaned it up so I just got to put some primer on there so that it doesn't rust I went a little too far as you can see here and I went right through but that's alright I'll just uh, fill that up and weld uh, eventually so that'll be alright just need to do that so it's getting kind of late the lighting situation so in here still kind of sucks uh, we just haven't had the time to address it um, but hopefully soon um, I'm gonna go do the pour 15 now it's all prepped and cleaned up I'm just gonna basically brush on the uh, the, the, the actual paint and then uh, that should be good to go I'll let that dry overnight and when I get back here on the weekend or so I'll put the subframe the front subframe all uh, back on and uh, go from there pour 15 um, I've never used this stuff before so I don't really know how it cures um, from experience from what I read you just basically let it sit there for about five hours in the heat it's kind of cool right now though so there's not too much heat to let it dry up but it is on there it's on the bottom it doesn't look the prettiest but again you'll never see it it's just to protect the frames from corroding and getting all that nasty uh, rust so it's good for now uh, once it dries up, I may give it another coat because the way it's drying up, there's kind of like little sp sp spots you can see like that. So I'll give it another coat, uh, probably Friday. And then all that stuff that kind of came over to the side, I'll uh, sand that off and clean it so that there's no more on the side so that when I spray the actual bay, you won't, it won't, you know, it won't come out messed up or anything. But yeah, pretty good. Happy with it. It'll dry up, and then from there, once it dries up, I can um, put the subframe back on and put the uh, steering column and get that all situated. So, all right, guys. So unfortunately, tonight is going to be a short video. I apologize. Um, I didn't get here too pretty late today, um, so I did what I could do, but you know, it is what it is. Whatever. Uh, we'll just keep moving forward with the build. Uh, pour 15 is applied. I'll do another coat Saturday night. I'll finish the speaker, the other speaker uh, cage removal on Sunday, and then try to knock out that list Sunday. I'll be here all day, so hopefully I should be able to get that all done. Um, and then the car will be ready to be uh, dropped off to get the grill cage done. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, we'll keep moving forward. We'll keep pushing and uh, getting as much done on the car as possible. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully Ernie shows up Sunday and uh, we can get some work done on his suspension for his car. Uh, he was sick last week so he couldn't show up. But anyway, he should be fine by this weekend, hopefully. Uh, but that's it. So like always, stickers, if you're interested, are in the description below. I appreciate it if you pick one up. Um, help support the channel. Help support the build. That's what they look like. Street heroes. And... Uh, like always, hit that like button. It definitely helps. Comment if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. I definitely appreciate it. Um, with that being said, you guys take it easy. Have a good night. Peace out.